The truth will make you free You'll be free indeed You won't be bound by Satan, sin or death Walking in his light Feeding on his word Christ Jesus has made you free Christ Jesus has made you free Christ Jesus has made you free. I'd like to talk to you for a minute or two about the business of consulting. Throughout the world, experts offer consultation. You can find professionals who will provide advice uh, in about every area these days. I myself am a firm believer in common sense, although it probably shouldn't be called common sense today since it doesn't appear to be as common as it once was. In fact, most consultation would probably be unnecessary if we still had common sense. In Joshua 9 and 1, it says, They did not ask for the counsel of the Lord. For me, this alone violates common sense. When we look at the history of Israel and consider that they did not consult the Lord for his counsel, it's mind-boggling to me. Consider the many miracles and victories God had given them up to that point. Common sense would dictate that they would first seek counsel from God before anything else, but they didn't. How often are we just as guilty as these folks were? How often do we try to go it alone? The Christian has the presence of the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us every step of the way. Nevertheless, we move forward many times without asking God to give us the wisdom we need. Sometimes the best prayer is to ask God to stop us before we make a terrible mistake if what we're planning to do is not in His will. He desires the very best for His children. He also tells us to seek Him and ask for wisdom. When we ask for bread, He doesn't return a stone to us. He gives us what we need, but He does require us to ask. Earlier I mentioned that most consultation would be unnecessary if we operated by common sense. I believe the Christian can actually do this because God is with us. Paul told Timothy that God had not given him a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. Rational, reasonable thinking is a byproduct of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. When folks think of the Holy Spirit, many of them look for power. Others talk about love. Both of these are certainly evidence of the Spirit's presence, if rightly understood and applied. But seldom do we consider reasonable, sound thinking as a byproduct of the Spirit. But we should. The Holy Spirit, the Heavenly Counselor, is the best consultant we can have in this life. We do well to listen to His advice when we make our life decisions. He is with us to lead us and guide us. He's called the Helper. Sometimes in life we have a crazy, unusual circumstance and we need some professional consultation, no doubt. When this is the case, we do well to seek out an expert in the area of which we're concerned and God will lead us to the right one if we ask. But I'm happy to know that today that for most of life we can rely on the resident counselor who is available every day. Let us put him first and not move ahead without asking for his help. Amen. The truth will make you free You'll be free indeed You won't be bound by Satan, sin or death Walking in his light Feeding on his word Christ Jesus has made you free Christ Jesus has made you free Christ Jesus has made you free